So Kevin, would you explain what you've been working on and what the process was? Uh, so this is a vacuum bag for a ceiling fan blade. So here you can see two end products of a blade. There's an upper half and a lower half. Yeah. Um, and this is an epoxy with uh, what's the material in it? Yeah, so it's two layers of fiberglass with an epoxy as the medium to hold it together. Um, so each half requires a whole mold. Uh, you can see sort of a mold here, but it's already got stuff in there. Yeah, so that's a MDF, right? Yep, with so it's a machine at MDF. Um, so we can take the whole thing out and look at it. So there's the mold. Okay, so you machined the MDF and then you finished it with what? Yeah, so the MDF when you machine it is like wood, so it's porous, so you gotta seal it. So you can wipe epoxy over it, and then sand it, and then wipe epoxy over again, and then sand it until it's just smooth. Yep. And then from there, you put like a mold release, and then that way your part doesn't stick to your mold. Okay. Which is what you want. And so what you took is the fiberglass, and then you put it into underneath this cloth, and then added a vacuum, right? Would you show me what the vacuum yeah, bag so looks like? Yeah, so it's hard to So this is a finished part, which I haven't taken apart yet, but you can see there's the two layers of fiberglass, and then I put this layer here, which is called peel ply, and that's like a breathable layer that lets epoxy soak through to pull as much as epoxy out, but it doesn't stick to your part, so that way your finished part doesn't have it sucked to it. And then you have some sort of a porous thing, like this is like felt, yeah. That just soaks up your epoxy. And then afterwards you have a bag, like that guy, and then afterwards you pull a vacuum and then it's all sealed. Yeah, so you do that sort of sandwich and then you vacuum it in the bag yeah. and you leave the vacuum running so that it keeps yep. pressure so on it want basically. You hold the vacuum until the whole epoxy cures. Yeah. So for this it's like 10 hours. Yeah. And why go through the process? Is it just so you get an ultra thin, ultra strong formed object? Um, so I mean, so you, you need to, well first of all, you need a mold if you want to make anything to the shape of that part. Um, it doesn't matter how thick or thin you want it, it's just like a process, I guess. Cool, well, it looks like you've made some beautiful fins and it's a very uh, cool process and educational for me to see.